Today, I'm going to be showing you the limitless potential of the most overpowered item in Minecraft, and that is the Spatial Pylon. This thing allows you to do so much, including this little, like, this little animated thing I put behind me. Like, I don't really know what the point of it was, but, like, something that you can do with it, I guess. Yeah, look at it. It's beautiful. So, what is the Spatial Pylon? Well, simply put, it's a way of storing literally anything. You can store an entire house. Let's say I wanted to store this house Let's in storage. Okay, I don't really want to keep this. I want to store it into a single item. I just throw that in there. And now, I have my house right there. That's my house. That little item right there. This is my house. And if I want to re-put it back down, boom. And it stores everything that's in your chests, as shown. It's a pretty handy little thing. I will let you know, it does not work with certain items, like lecterns do not get stored, uh, Vault Altar doesn't get stored, but it still has a lot of practical usage. Now, I'm going to tell you about Applied Energistics, the mod that this comes from, as you can see in the Aqua, Applied Energistics 2. Great mod. This is what you're supposed to use the mod for. It's a storage system of sorts. You can, uh, there's import buses, there's lots of storage. This thing has a very, very comprehensive storage system. The import buses, as you can tell, just imports it into your storage system. And it's quite good at what it does. It's really on par with the refined storage mod. And I accidentally pressed my ghost one. Anyway, so, what's a practical application? Something that you might actually use in your lifetime. Let's go over that. So, a practical application is, for instance, if you wanted to store villagers. Hi, villagers. But yeah, you can store entities, which means that you can hold these guys. And I can break the block behind you, but not actually kill you. So you can easily store yourself all your villagers. Boom. Now they're gone. And I accidentally broke. Let's say you built yourself a pumpkin farm. But you didn't really want it to be running right now. Instead of adding an off switch and take all that useful, very useful space in your base, what could you do? You could just like make take a storage cell and slap it in. Boom. Now you have all the space in the world. Look at that. Now you can build another farm here. You can have so many farms in this small little space. Yeah, it's overpowered. But, I still haven't told you the best part of this system. So, let's say your friend's AFK, just vibe in here, watching his favorite YouTuber, Red Life Games. Oh my god, you should subscribe to that guy, you know? Anyway, so- oh god. And then, you flick the lever to- oh no, now he's trapped. And the greatest part about this is he can not even, he won't even notice if he actually has like a base with walls. He won't even notice. He'll just think he's still in the same place. And he won't even have a way out until you free him. So he would, could just be in his base for absolutely hours before noticing that something is even wrong. Which, if you ask me, is just completely hilarious. Well, if you trap someone in your base, <laughs> and inside of one of these things, make sure to remember to let them out. Trust me. Or what you could do is trap them in it, go to your base, build a little zoo for them, and unteleport them into the zoo. <laughs> There's so much pranking potential with this because you could do literally anything. This thing is busted overpowered. Okay, so how do you actually get this thing to work? Well, you're in luck because I know pretty much nothing. So you get these spatial pylons on the perimeter of the build. Then, you, if once you build, put the spatial I.O. port, you put a spatial storage cell, and make sure to power it using Apply Energistics Power. I'm using a Creative Energy cell because I'm too lazy to actually set up power generation on the server. Oh, you could just use, like, another star generator, but, like, that's what I normally use. It's really cheap. But anyway, this. And then everything is already ready to go, and you just flick the lever and everything works. Well, you might be wondering, how did I make 
this thing where it just cycles through things, which would work really well. Like, it would look really cool if you could just like have an animated part of your base, like like a little statue that moves and stuff. Or just if someone, oh my god, if someone does this, I will literally, I'll give you a cookie or something. I don't know. If you're able to build a a statue that default dances on people, that's like inside your base. Mwah, that would be so funny. I kind of want to do that on the hardcore world. But how this works is really, really simple. It uses a spatial in out port, and whenever you activate it, it takes the output. It okay, takes the output so into a hopper that goes into dropper. There's a simple dropper elevator here, and it cycles. It just it's just a simple cycling thing. And there you go. That is my comprehensive guide to the best item in Vault Hunters. Maybe ever.